All right, guys, so we're going to watch one of the videos from my Blender Octane 101 guide. It's a full course that I'm basically making to teach you how to use Blender Octane. For those of the members who are in the community, they get immediate access to videos as they're being released because I'm building the course as we go. So if you're interested in that, check the link down below. All right, now we're going to look at our max samples and max samples for previews. So back here again, I do still have the kernel set up here. What I'm going to do just I'm going to go ahead and switch this back over to our shader editor because we're just seeing a copy over here. It's kind of redundant, right? So here we are. Here is our cube. And right now you'll see these numbers ticking here. I'm running a sample in the viewport of 500. 500 is my sample count right now. How do I change that? If we come over here, you'll see, let me stretch that out. Max preview samples 500 i can also knock this down to 200 now if we come back over here you can see max samples of 200 let's kind of get that up there we go now that's how we would change our viewport samples now for our rendering samples of course here it is up at the top we can change it up to here again 200 and then if i turn this off and go ahead and hit render here it's just rendering out and again that was basically our 500 samples, which we chose. They're going to be a little bit different, right? I come back over here or I chose 200. We can change this back to 500. Now we're going to render out 500 samples and it's ticking. There it is right there. Three, four, 500. So 500 samples. So that's how you set up your viewport samples versus your rendering samples. All right. Now we're going to look at Octane's kernel settings. Right now we have our kernel setting which came in default and we are set to direct lighting kernel now what we can do is literally come here flip this tab down and now we can see the other kernels that are available to us info kernel pmc kernel path tracing kernel photon tracking kernel now and uh we do have the uh, kernel switch here so I'm not going to get into all of these at the moment. We'll get into that later in other videos. But for now, most of us use the path tracing very similar to cycles. So what you want to do is just literally come down here and change that to cycles. And now I always like to turn my renderer off and re uh, turn it back on. So now we are set up with the path tracing kernel. Now I do want to show you there is another way to access this here. If we see here, let me scroll this up. We are in the world, in the shader world, I mean shading right now. If I grab this and go down to should be right about here, octane kernel. If I flip that over, you may not see nothing or you may see something. But what you're going to need to do is if you click this tab here, you'll see it says Octane Kernel. I have two because I added another one, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But if I click on this, this is the kernel that we just chose. If you see here, Path Tracing, if I take this 500 and bring it down to 100, if you look over to the right, you notice it changed here to 100. Path Tracing Kernel. This is an exact mirror of what we're seeing here. So kind of like this is what's going on in the back end and this is kind of like the front end, right? It's pretty much a copy. So this is how we can bring in different kernels. So for example, if I cut this over here, I can bring in a different kernel. I literally go Shift A and I'll come down to Octane Kernels. Here's the same selections. I can drop in a new kernel, plug this into here, and now we're using the Direct Lighting Kernel. And if you come back over here, you'll see direct lighting kernel. Now, if none of this was set up for you, but it should be. But worst case scenario, if you saw nothing, you can easily just press quick add node tree. It'll drop one in. You'll see here it's set to default lighting. It's set to the direct lighting, sorry. And if we come over here, you'll set direct lighting. And you'll look here, octane kernel 002, octane kernel 002. I can easily dis delete that. Come over here, go back to the original kernel that I was on. And again, make sure this is set there. Now we're back to where I originally started when I showed you here. I can plug back in my path tracing kernel and there it is, everything is set up. So that is just a basic way to switch our kernels. And in later videos, we'll break down the advantages and disadvantages of each actual kernel. If you guys wanna watch more of these videos down below, check the link for my Blender Octane course. It's in my Blender Octane community. There you can get immediate access. And for the next seven days, I'll knock five bucks off so jump on that get in there finish watching some more of these videos and get access to the newest videos as soon as they are finished cooking from me patrick lavar catch you guys in the next one take a look at this video peace